Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Witcher 3 here today on the channel. We're back on the Netflix mod. This is episode 18 and this is the last video we're going to be doing on the Wild Hunt here today. We'll be we'll be finishing and completing the series. What a ride. I've thoroughly enjoyed playing this playthrough with the Netflix cast. It has added a new dimension and I hope you guys have been enjoying it as well. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to do the DLCs, but it might take me a little bit to prepare. I've actually never played the DLCs, um, so maybe I should do Blood and Wine and that you guys would just have to let me know. So we're going to spend the next five hours now finishing things off and then going... Um, and finishing off the story, so hope you guys enjoy it. Please be warned that there will be limited commentary in today's video, because I want you guys to enjoy the story and Henry Cavill. So sit back and enjoy the most of the Netflix cast and Henry Cavill for the final time, potentially, as Geralt of Rivia in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Hope you guys enjoy. to see you I talked to your friends come down right I'm coming you lucky devil you you know I have one regret that oh, ah, ah! dead Wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. Wh what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. You and your friends. What's your story? Rabinick and Company. Real estate appraisal, insurance, mass event organization. Gaspard Sutter. My mates call me sleepy. I even slept through that storm. It's a shame so many died. Any chance you've seen an ashen-haired woman around here? Here? Nay, not a soul. But ooh, a lot passes me by on account of my sleeping. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. 
A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... Uh, oh. I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. Uh, off we go, then. Drifting off. I'll soon Wake up. Yeah. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know, it ain't on my map. A common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. It's stronger than me, I'm so sorry. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Why wait awake? Come on, keep moving. So what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. H here? Mm-hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Brought you your friend. Ah, right, sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Ha <laughs> ha! Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha! You seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. 
What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Roderick told me to have an eye on the snot. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping, and, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A Witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a Witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morhen, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalok? He's not let me down to date. Not once.
Why exactly is Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal, and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. <laughs> I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eridin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eridin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eridin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalach refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalach opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know, he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. Had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found, and I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm, failed to mention that. 
probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the Guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Orson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider, we'd just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Kjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... You actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am. Where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then... Dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh. That was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I'd dream, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? Not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin, on horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn. Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Get us out of here. They'll know where we've gone. They'll know how to find me. They already do. Siri, take us home.
Welcome back, child. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. It's good to see you again. Let's not stand out here. Yes, come. We should hold council. Yen, you know the wild hunt better than anyone else. Tell us about the magic they use. The navigators open. Good to see you. They also say. Ha! Yes. Bring all your tools with you. Thought right. Plan to top that by brewing some more of my hackam and All right. I certainly hope this gas will work. She's one of us, Geralt. No way we'll let him take her. Damn. Esco. Greetings, Wolf. Younger than Besson. Get everybody together. Time to talk. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Want to take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? There aren't many of us, but I'd trust any of you with my life. Work together and we'll defeat the hunt. When they attack, Yen will dome the fortress with a magic shield. Hunt will be forced to land outside the walls. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us die meridian bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erden should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. 
Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? <sighs> Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss. Bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this Mahakaman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth, create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's a laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witcher's traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. There aren't many of us, so we'll need to prepare as many traps as possible. Let's talk about the workshop. Then wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. Fixing the breach in the wall's a priority. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods. Where Lambert and Geralt will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridan can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. What's ready? Haven't had much time to prepare, so not much, honestly. I'm exposing you all to danger, unnecessarily. You worry too much. Wipe that frown off your face, we'll make it. Thanks. For everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods.
Long, lonely winters breed some pretty strange ideas. See that? It's starting. Woods, now. Gonna have to thank Yen once this is all over. That spell... really something. And the invisibility. Hounds could sniff you out, so don't get too close. And you'll be visible as soon as you start fighting, remember that. Good work with these bombs, by the way. Aim at the portals. Be precise. I'm out of Dimeridium. Yen mentioned casting the Urden at the rifts. Said the sign could seal them. They're here. Time to say hello. Slow down. Element of surprise is key. Stay hidden. Give Triss a chance to show them what she can do. Then we'll hit him. Next time you get the feeling I'm about to piss off Marigold, make sure and knock me upside the head. Geralt? Geralt? his pits. Couldn't have asked for anything more perfect. Are you kidding? We're lucky we didn't fall in. 
Relax. Roach is good at this kind of warfare. Covers won't collapse under our weight. Hunt Rider in full plate. That's another story. Not that I don't trust this invisibility, but we should keep our distance from those creatures. Hey, portals. Come to Mama. Problem solved. How long are you gonna make me wait? Geralt! Come here! Look! They're regrouping! See the commander? Name's Imlarith. I remember him from back when I rode with the hunt. Damn it. Spells waning. We're becoming visible. What's with Marigold? You were meant to wait inside! I refuse to sit idle while you risk your lives for me. Back inside! No! Geralt gave the signal from the woods and Triss hasn't cast the spell. Damn it! All right, run to her.
Geralt! Head back. Large detachment approaching from the woods. We need to close the gate before they get inside. without me, would you? Come now, admit it. Lambert, damn it! Stay with us! We gotta pull back! Yennefer's strength is waning! Geralt? We gotta pull back! Yennefer's strength is waning! Mists where the elven mage had concealed. Fall back! Through the gate! Into the courtyard!
second too soon. Get back to your position. Someone sends his regards, you bastards! Take the passage to the main courtyard! Where's Esco? Damn it! We agreed he'd open that gate. Hasn't done it yet. Means he'll be fine. We've got Triss to worry about now. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? shaky. We had to fall back. They tried to get in through the main gate. I'm afraid they could succeed next time. What's with Eskel? We have to retreat. He's in trouble. I'm going to help him. Remember the stone I gave you. I can do it too. Should have stayed in the keep. Set your ass down like you were supposed to. <laughs> Who would have saved yours then? to 
open the gate for them. Eskos, open the gate! We can retreat beyond it! Fall back. You're not supposed to be out here. Too late now. They're coming in through the gaps! Time Meridium bombs. You'll find more in the crates by the walls. Gunner, hold them back. I must form a circle of vitality. We've gotta close the portals. If we don't, we die. Abandon you. You humans are so impractical. Siri, no! were an unruly child. I adored that about you.
Now fly! Uh. I... I was too late... to help him. It's not your fault. I should not have fled here to Kemoan. Avalark is weak, but alive. Triss is tending to the others. I nearly killed you. Killed everyone. I can't cry. Don't know how.
Vesemir's funeral. We should prepare. Don't blame yourself. No witcher's ever died in his own bed. You don't know how it is to see someone you love die because of you, for you. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yes, and you saved me. For how long? A week? A month? We'll hide you, cover your tracks. No. I will flee no more. Va fail. For those who remain, death should never take precedence over life. Pay your last respects to your friend. Then we must hold counsel. I'll remember your teachings always. And the sacrifice you made. Zirel can harness immense amounts of the power. Why has no one taught her to control this? Actually, some did teach her. Clearly, to no effect. I'll gladly argue with you about this. Haven't had a chance to talk. Thanks for your help. And for looking after Ciri. You will thank me later. Now we must take Zirel from here, Haida. And then gather a greater force. Anyone, everyone we could count on came here to care Morhen. Which is why we must seek the help of enemies. Magic is our best defense against the hunt. We need sorceresses, arch mistresses of magic. You mean the lodge? Don't trust the lodge one bit, but doesn't seem like we have a choice. Because we don't. I've made an agreement with the Emperor. 
In exchange for its help, the Lodge will be granted amnesty and find asylum in Nilfgaard. That will be our bargaining chip. Triss, I wish to leave today to find the sorceresses. Will you help me? Of course. Even got an idea where you could start. Damn it! Again you planned without even asking what I think. I've had enough of this. I won't be taken somewhere like a bundle. I will not sit and twiddle my thumbs. I am sick of waiting, sick of hiding. You can't expose yourself. Am I a banner to be held aloft and kept from the enemy? That's how you treat me. None of you has the courage to face this threat. Yet we must kill them. Or sooner or later we will all die. Better go after her. Wait, she needs time. We must let her resolve her grief on her own. Then we should start training as soon as possible. She must learn to control her abilities. This training really necessary? You saw what happened. She could be a greater threat than the hunt. Fine. We'll stay here a while longer, then join you and Triss in Novigrad. Meet at Dandelion's Inn. Come on, Yen. The sooner we leave, the better. See ya. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Cyril. How many times must I try? As many as it takes. But I'm not getting anywhere. We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet, either. Geralt, please, not now. By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalach says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus, no matter what's happening. Hmm, there's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? The Skellica druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! You'll regret that. Hey, that's cheating. <laughs> Win. We'll see about that. <laughs> Come and get me.
<laughs> you were right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. Saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen, Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. Siri, sure you know what you're getting into? Yes, and I must do this. Come. We shall talk on the way. Lead on. Ready? Let's go. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the Ladies of the Wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the Baron thought the Ladies of the Wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. He found his wife, took her away somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. 
The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlareth attends too, as the crone's guest. Seem to know it well. Havelark's a good tutor. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlareth there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. Loads of footprints. A crowd of peasants came through here. Geralt? Avalach claims vanity is Imlaris' greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthia, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalach's student. Let them approach. But They've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fires down that away, with food and drink aplenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling, scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. Your children, why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Prepare for it. 
You're a hard winter. Uncle gives plenty, don't ye, friend? Good ladies, merciful ladies. My grandson, give him a. Look, a child. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Well, old B, you're back. Uh, and I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided, though, it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you. I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass. She is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh. Path to the peak starts there. Past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key. So since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thekla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. Moons are rising, owls hoot, fire. It's clearing up. Hmm, who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye, what's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. I <sighs> stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus, it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Mm. Girl? He's sprier than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice. But to do so, you must best the challenge. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defier's Aura. Now, bring me the coin. <coughs> Something's afoot. Ah! Something's nigh.
beginning to worry. Come, let's get the key. Something's afoot. Something's They're back. Me. What do you want? Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go! That went smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop one. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a Zugal. Something's nigh. What's your name, girl? What's yours? <clears throat> your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence. No time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalarch said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn it! Two out of three! Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain, you face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. You too. I must get down there. of love and knew no bitterness. Yum, yum.
Welcome, child of the Elder Blood. We knew you would return. Your taste lingers on our tongues. You've talked enough. at the summit. Gotta be. Place of power. Should draw from it.
the sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. They did not see the girl. But she is with you, is she not? I'm here alone. A lie which will change nothing. First you, then her. I like that silver. you to fight like this. The Witcher you slew.
We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? I slew only two of the crones. The third fled with Vesemir's medallion, my sole memento. You avenged Vesemir. Avalarch claims vengeance is only ever satisfying when served cold. He's wrong. Now to find Eredin and kill him. An Orin for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. Tell her the truth. Always. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses at the lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Yeah, let's get going. Thank you for coming with me. Come here. Let's go. The Oak is dead. The Oak, the Crones. I fear that was your last feast. What of our acorns? Don't know. Don't care. You must learn to live without them. This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage on your own. Then non-humans. Thought it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. Hatred and prejudice will never be eradicated. And witch hunts will never be about witches. To have a scapegoat, that's the key. Humans always fear the alien. The odd. Once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. Dundee Lion! Ready some tankards! With guests! Geralt! Siri! When I learned Geralt had found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Just finished hunting down the crumbs of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you were a busy morn then, haven't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Geralt. I have a little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Anything happen while we were away? 
Uh, pretty Polly came down with a fever, and that oyster caught a knife between the ribs, and they're late delivering the sodden triple meat. Dandelion. Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is, I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full. One more piece to I'll give you the keys to the city. Remember, Tough genre. It'll cost oh. you a few crowns. You're not right it for free. Thousand... It would be an invaluable you need a bell set with silver so stuff. And thank you all of you in the news. Looking for something in particular? Um, a pretty little trinket. Want to give someone a present? When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go. Almost there. Where are we going, exactly? To see Horson Jr. Bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan, and he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there, stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped, because it seems he's recovered. Oh. Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests. So bugger off, you... you... Chance! Make a deal, maybe? Ah... Uh, yeah... Yeah... A deal. Go on upstairs. Boss is waiting. Sister. That was... strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. Well, who do we have here? Finally found your little ward. Took your sweet time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise, surprise. Shut your trap, witch. Before somebody fills that hole for you. Enough. I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop. It's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfeld. You really didn't recognize me. Do do? Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's yard, the mama's play, Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's do do. God! You give me quite the scare. Wouldn't have had to if you hadn't impersonated Horson. What the blazes were you thinking? Once we'd fled, I'd no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. 
They'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his, in a way, sharing it with a Doppler named Doodoo. That was courageous, Doodoo. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way, you've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. Why are we going to the Sturgeon? To see a girl who helped me once. Who might that be? A friend of Dandelion's. Her name's Bee. Watch your step. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. I will wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I'd take after you. City once it was very much like Neverland, but the people there were much taller and had dark skin. Is somewhere in Zerakini? No, in another world. Hmm. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm, a bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it, so I had to concentrate intensely and hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalok was very helpful. Now, I merely think of the place I wish to travel to, close my eyes, and it's done. Give you a chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners. You're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Yugen. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S -s sorry <sighs> Thank you. I seem more determined this time. Shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. <gasps> that Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Siri, didn't you have something to take care of? Right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. Beautiful. Thank you. So, 
Will you stay for Stu? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our Witcher. I will. So long. Right. So, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. You're terrible. What'd I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valdo. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. Where's this friend of yours? Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? What's your granddad? Agar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Likewise, and thanks for helping Siri. Oh, we had no choice. Found it hard to refuse a lass like her. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. We'd have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Let us start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our knights for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. What's eating him? Oh, don't worry. That's just how Agar is. Be back to his jolly old self by evening. What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. Hmm. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? No thanks. Not up to it today. Ah, for every ache of body and soul, there's no better remedy than Kedweni Golden. Isn't that right, Siri? As rain. <laughs> Stay with us. Bonfires to be lit soon around which all will gather. This night shall be ours. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Hmm. Fairy tale life. But we gotta defeat the Wild Hunt first. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. Don't worry about that yet. One thing at a time. You do know you can always count on me, whatever happens. I do. Thank you, Geralt. <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Drunk or giggling? Whichever it is, today's your chance. <laughs> Not what I meant. I'd like to be ordinary.
Your life is yours exclusively. You choose who you are. Uh, Geralt, you know that's never been true. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. It granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. The sooner you get rid of that illusion, the better. What do you mean? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. I'd rather know how you fared with the merchant. Managed to get some horses? <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho. I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Gotta be another way to solve this. It just so happens I got some coin I could lend you. We'd have no way to repay you. Wouldn't have to. A generous offer, but not one to resolve this situation. The merchant didn't object to our coin. He objected to us. I'll not trade with such scum. I believe those were his words. And if he'll not trade, we've no choice but to steal from him. I don't know. Doesn't seem like the best idea. Geralt, stop fussing. We'll not strip the merchant bear. And it's finally a chance to do something other than run from the wild hunt. Don't make us beg. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. Agar, keep a lookout. Siri and I'll try to get inside. All right. Fat girl. Excellent work! Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Glad to see you happy, but I don't think what we did was right. 
How can you keep the company of such a bore? I'll leave him alone, Agar. That's just how Geralt is. Righteous. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. Ah, oh, I was just a bit us too. This job. Oh, all right. But what with the state you two are in, you've got to fluff each other first. Buy you a drink? I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlarith, was that your idea or Ciri's? Mine. Lying didn't always come so easily to you. If you intend to... I was about to say, it's nice that you protect her. And you did the right thing to go with her. Charming place. Why are you here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, the prison in Oxenfurt. I also learned the identity of the man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Abbe Faria? Who's asking? We'd like to talk. Damn! <sighs> Best run and get him. Lay me down with Baron. Oh, 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 the day! Oh, oh. I thought you'd agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be! Calm down, we just want to chat. Uh -huh. And then stick a shift between my ribs, leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. No, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... you shan't hurt me? No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, well, so be it. But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. Huh. Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll, they'll lock you up like it's split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. They say no one gets out of Dayrog alive. Aye, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they dropped the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If we can find a way into the ruins... We'll get into the prison.
They say Dayron's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. They choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs. Rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they do to folk. Torture every day. The wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? No, not officially, but you know how it is. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What he said about the guards could prove handy. True. Things will go more smoothly if we can get even a few of them drunk. Zoltan ought to manage it. I'll ask him. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. What's the hurry, my prince? Ooh, Geralt the Monster Slayer. Other wild art. Zoltan. Geralt. They're holding Margarita at Dayrod. Got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakamut as you can find and drive it to Oxenford. Yennefer will give the signal. They'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Oh, these are terrible times. Since the mages left town, the hunters have taken to harassing non-humans. A dwarf flinging around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Crawl back onto your rock. Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? We'll manage on our own. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Sure the guards don't know about the passage through the ruins? Haven't planted oh, sentries oh. there? What they haven't. That? How can you be sure? Novigrad's hierarchs have taken great care to eradicate any and all memories of the city's elven roots. Even if anyone remembers the ruins are there, they have no recollection of how far and where they extend. And I'm absolutely certain no one's thought to place sentries there. Hope you're right. Here we are. This is it. Was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hemelfart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. Not coming? Mucking through ruins and sewers? Hmm. I'd rather leave it to the expert. Meaning you'd rather waltz in once the hard work's done. Wet clothes. Oh, joy.
Mechanism's broken. Missing a piece. Replace it with something else, maybe? <laughs> Tomb Raider. Seems this one liked Elven stuff. This'll come in handy. That ought to do it. You're gonna make me wait. Looking for a bruising? I will. You. Get it from the oh. Let's end this. Who's that? Geralt? God, I'm hallucinating. Getting you out of here. It's pointless. He'll never open it without the key. The warden keeps them with him at all times. His room is upstairs. Be right back. Get 
both sides! Time to end this. Let's do it. What are you doing? Yen insisted I'm coming. Rita, what have they done? When I get my hands on those whoresons... I'll gladly help. If I live to see it. I must take her from here. Immediately. I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Don't like portals anyway. Go.
Barred shut. Need to find another way out. Greetings, Triss. Have you lost your mind? You went after Imlarith by yourselves? To the Sabbath? How could you put Siri in danger? Siri had to do it. I couldn't let her go alone. You'd have done the same in my boots. Besides, I'd never let anything happen to Siri. You know that. Any success with the Lodge? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Frangilla. Haven't been able to contact her. Yen and I rescued Margarita. I know. Dandelion set her up in a room upstairs. She's resting, slowly recovering. What about Kira and Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people had known. Fuse a sorceress, and Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that, as she needed the impetus to start anew. She found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. And I hope things work out for us. And we find Philippa and Rita. Did a little investigating. Learned some interesting things. Namely? Want the long or the short version? Guess. In short, she was here. At this inn, under our noses the whole time. Transformed, seated on her perch with a dimeridium band on her leg. Zoltan's owl? Mm-hmm. So why isn't she here anymore? Because Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Yep, that's Zoltan for you. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the owl. Naturally, he won, then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. One outside the Passiflora could work. Good idea. Let's go. We're here. Nice and quiet. Shouldn't be any disturbances. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. We can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham et Thuir, Robert Michele, Alfelte. Graham et Thuir, Agnes Kerle, Es Pirchena, A Es Clays. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her, at his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. Let's go to the bathhouse. Might not be too late. Come on. I hope we get there in time. I hope Dijkstra hasn't already heard her. The possibilities are many.
could be Dijkstra that got hurt. Not likely. Dijkstra never forgave her for sending assassins after him. And Philip is weakened, no doubt about it. Weakened, maybe, but still a powerful sorceress. If Dijkstra's men take the Dimeridium off, Philip will kill them before they can say oh. Guess they underestimated Philippa. Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! We're going together. Not a chance. It's fine, Geralt. I'll stay. In case she tries to flee this way. Fine. Be right back. That? I want to help her. Birdie, no. Past go, say. But no, let past go. <sighs> Ever had a stomach ache? Mm. Ache? Aye. But once old drowner eat. Her stomach aches like she just ate a hundred old drowners. But no want. Drowner make Egg, very bad. Let me pass. I can help her. But let past go. Which of help? I want to help you. Help me die. Don't hold your breath. I'm not out to hurt you. Bollocks. You will not take me! I wanna help you! Ha! Forgive me, but I just don't believe you! Stop 
squirming. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be long dead by now. What do you want? To torment me? To watch others do so? I need your help. Betray me, and I will... Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything. Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt. But Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. I remember you, little Bond, but this is no time for a lover's quarrel. But it's an excellent time to settle a score. Philippa will come with me and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. Sorry, can't let that happen. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you alright? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be alright? Yeah, thanks for your help. Exact punishment for every crime, even if they can't catch the criminal. Black ones, for Danians. <laughs> Long as they pay and don't hit. Witcher. Yes, girl. So long, Triss. Geralt! What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. any time, do they? I don't like this. Neither do I. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Hmm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. 
You must join us. As before? I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. No equality in the Lodge? That's garbage. Some have always taken the reins, while others politely nodded. A wise and capable sorceress finds the role, the position that best suits her. And yours should be supreme. You deserve to lead. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him, I don't trust you. But that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain, and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... Let's get some fresh air. So? I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. How'd it go? No casualties, so not bad, I suppose. Siri can handle herself, and gets it from you. Since it seems to be over, perhaps... Yes, good idea. Something's not right. What are you up to? Don't be nervous. Yen and I, well, we talked and concluded... That we've wasted much too much time fighting over you. Meanwhile, we'll probably soon face the Wild Hunt. Most likely battle Aridin himself, and who knows what could happen. So, we decided we must try to make the most of the time we have left. Together. Together. Go on. We've always loved each other. You're in love with us. There's no point in fighting it. We must enjoy what we have. So, we've prepared something special. Come by the Kingfisher this evening. Bring wine. Lots of wine. See you later, love. I can't wait. This'll be interesting. I'm afraid to see the surgeon. Never know when they'll accuse him of witchcraft. Oh, it stinks of burnt flesh. Can they not burn those pyres beyond the city walls?
I'd lost hope that you'd appear. We couldn't wait for you to show. What about me? Don't I get any? You just got exactly what you deserve. Hey, this isn't funny. Come back. Triss, Yang. Ah, <laughs> well, well. Ladies did quite a number on you. Do a number on you if you don't. And your shoes, my friend. I'd be promising mounds of gold, not making threats. Untie me now, or you'll need that gold to replace your teeth. <laughs> You'd have to catch me first, and you don't exactly look like you're getting out of here anytime soon. Dandelion. All right, all right. Sorry, don't often see you like this. Couldn't resist. So, how do you feel? A bit numb, I bet. Tell anyone about this and... Calm down. Won't peep a word. It's one thing to laugh at a friend. Another thing entirely to make a laughing stock of him. Oh, Geralt. How little you know about women. Did you really think you could have them both? You have a great deal to learn. Glad to give you some advice if you want. Think I'll pass. I'm off to see Avalok. Wanted a word, apparently. Oh. Back there at the Kingfisher. Oh, you really want to talk about it? Maybe I should get Yennefer. Wouldn't want her to miss any of this. Hmm, no, you're right. Bad idea. Need a hanky? Gotta admit, never expected this of you. You humans have... Hmm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask? You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know, so she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Skip the guessing games. I'm tired. The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler.
Regicide. Serious stuff. Take it not many know about this. Of the living? Only I. And Eridin, of course. Question is, can you get Gels to believe you? Nothing you need worry about. Haven't mentioned killing Gels. Such drastic means are not always necessary. So you probably plan to offer him a deal. Brilliant deduction. Bravo. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here? Show him the truth of what happened? Fabulous plan, if we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the NL. Think you're forgetting something. You and Siri might know how to travel between worlds, but me? Not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways. Even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Let's go. I know this house. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. Passages here, past this wall. This is the place. Once we enter, there'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time. I hate portals. Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Come, we must go. What is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. Anything live here? Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before? Were there any people? Or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea? Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so in fact than you humans. 
But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. Ah, the portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. Lost your nerve. Just keep coming. We can't hope to defeat them all. As soon as the portal opens, you must jump in after me. Three, two, one. Very good. On time. What a relief. Have a look. Vapors don't look terribly inviting. <coughs> Damn it, gotta hold my breath. Any longer and I'd have suffocated. those clouds or bolt through them. Death if I don't hide somewhere, and I gotta find that next passage quick. If I can just find cover along the way, I should make it to the passage.
light in a place like this? Someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy elven sage. Snow's up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing. Took you a while? Did you run into trouble? Uh, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eredin's projection here. Before that, Siri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Siri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. Did Aridin start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? <sighs> what would it have changed? Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dera, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eridan succumbed to his knowledge of the Apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. This to you, Nalia? The Palace of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace. Gel's headquarters. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated than Moon. Let's 
I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crivana Spain, at Corman Maca, and the Witcher of Rivia. Ketmil. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Crivan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Didn't come here for tea. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite the surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, Interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. No, but honesty's not a facet of your species, so quit spewing bile won't gain you anything. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Better believe it. This way, please. Witcher Geralt, a true man of action. Might I know where we're going? To the world of the Enshe. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Oneron answer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? and proclaim Avalach our new king. Don't flatter yourself. Defy Eredin. That's all you need to do. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not?
king is dead. Long live the king. You must face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tin Aliyah will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalark knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let Gales go too easily. He got off cheap and easy. Sold us a few pieces of advice. Some story about a sunstone. He gave us his assurance that he'll not support Eredin. And that is quite a lot. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Gather everyone and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Novi grab proper. Still not safe at night. Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What of Fringilla? That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. Hmm. Take it the Emperor forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. You look familiar. Do I have a wall up yet? All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away.
Well, that settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show his Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the ML. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven once. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. I'm off. Good luck. Oh, you make Lookie, a fine sailor. Mr. Francie Pen. Tongues are wagging about you. Geralt the Giant Slayer. The favor Lady Branded. Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs. They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermion? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. Now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermion. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Brand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Witchers do once there are no basil. Best blades not worth last if a weak arm swinging at eight. And what else would crack have? I'll not kneel before an oncrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to eat the black ones? I'd sooner eat the rights of bleeding Moorhog than let crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Jarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. What would you call it if not treason? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! Oh, 
shut up. Stay here. Should not stay here. Come, we should not stay here. Move. That's enough. Wait, wait. This one's really funny. What's the difference between a Nilf Guardian and a Droner? <laughs> Alright. What is it? Well, Geralt. I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crack's blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Ker Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. Mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon. And even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? Listen, Ermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Ulberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting. But there's a scald, Avent. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. 
Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. Ah, uh, gods protect us. Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Gevorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. Let's watch for Gevorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. Ha! <laughs> Can tell by your mug I was right. And to think, didn't take you for a looter at first. I just want to look around the cavern. Research. Research? Writing an adventure novel. Gathering material for it. Mean to write up the coming of the White Fleet? Try, my dear. Mayhaps you could use my translation of the Song of Gilban and Dillion. Gladly, gladly. So where's this cavern? Uh, got a sail east from Kertrolda. Caverns in a cove, only accessible from the sea. So long, and good luck with the White Whale. It'll show today. I'm sure of it. Promise me a gold ring to put him ashore. Did you take pity on the sodden wretch? They know you can't refuse a cat. No. What are you doing? Going, right going somewhere. Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalok's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalok mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something, and he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikerog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstone's on Ard Skellig cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Irritating she can be. Come, Siri. We'll await you there. entrance is very well protected. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yatta Ligon! We've awoken the sentry. I'll take you.
Pretty cozy. Doesn't look much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hmm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. No. Seems someone was literally just here. Avalak's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow doesn't seem like Avalak to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like. Verbena. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Yen. Genealogical chart of the Enhanikir, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. Let's look at his notes. He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Siri. But it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Siri's, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalok never got that far. Apparently, all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the Wild Hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. How did you get in here? Who are you? Not your concern. Get out of here. Now. You. I remember you. From Tirnalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. 
Like what? He said you shared Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Avalak means that much to you. What's that got to do with anything? If they despise me so, they should leave me be. Siri. What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will, because I'd really like to now. There. That's better. Let's get out of here. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindusfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. 
everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. Siri, no time for that. You can go later. We've more important things to do now. Yes. There are always more important things. I'll talk to her. You're liable to spill. Just wonderful. I see, look at this. Let's go. What now? Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did? I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. It looked disgusting, but... I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakam. Had them put two sizable yeah, that in his eye mm. sockets. So how do we get up the... The stairs? I'll fix them right away. Ready. Let's go. Couldn't help notice the tension between you and Yennefer and Triss. It's very hard on Siri, I think. There are times I doubt you three realize how it looks. Triss plays the big sister to Siri, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the pair of the world. Yes. Five so there's clearly no room.
future. I what now? It appears I must do everything for you. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Ugh, in blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearlan of the Elven legend. Do you literally read nothing? Jennifer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? This deal with Amir. It's sorceress business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. Don't you think it's time you stopped interfering in Ciri's life? No. But you do know we're not a pack of wolves you can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can, if the need arises. Wait. There's something here. Feel it? No. My medallion. A ridiculous bauble. Don't make me laugh. Tuning into elven magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend. Watch this. Arahan Luma! Uh -huh. That means the sunstone is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to shift the mirrors. Closer.
last. Hand it over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter to discuss. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the Sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh. No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Ciri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. You're like Nilfgaard, no two ways about it. I recommend the fresh alpine air of Nazaire. <laughs> and Yennefer claims you have no sense of humor. Now listen carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because... If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic, but perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you and go. Triss might object. Ah, yes. So give Yennefer some friendly advice, would you? She'll listen to you. Any other words of wisdom, or can we go? You may go. I know you've things to do. I shall find my own way back. As a boy, my parents brought me to skeletons. It's the Witcher! Emperor's orders! Stand down!
Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. You should have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? In Zeracania, she longed for sunlight. I am known neither for my sense of humor nor for my patience. You're insolent because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. Yet that will change one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. But enough of that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her Dimeritian shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. And I despise teleports, but have it your way. Let's go. We looked around your laboratory. I never doubted you. Yes, Geralt? We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Flea. As legend has it, she never used the stone and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. Really? Seems to me you'd started already. We were discussing questions of a magic nature. Nothing of great interest to you. Right. Because I'm just a simple witcher. Simple, yet with so many complexes. Not now, Geralt. You were about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it, with your help, naturally. What about you? Where will you be? Waiting in reserve. 
If something goes wrong, I shall react. Hmm. Like a general commanding troops from a hilltop? Gonna signal us by horn or use messengers? Exquisite irony, but what did I do to deserve it? Have I given you cause to doubt my intentions? Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait, at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wild guess? Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. Don't have the right to order her around. Amusing. Zirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. I do, in fact, have this right. For only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms or not at all. Zirel recognized the strength of my argument. I have no doubt you will do the same. Zirel. Do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The elder blood can be fiery. Telling Siri she can't do something is counterproductive, speaking from experience there. Ultimately, she does what she wants. Let us hope. Pardon me? Never mind. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats, amongst the soldiers. Unless you wish to come with me now. No time to lose. Sooner we get this done, the better. Follow me. I give you my heart? What kind of spell is that? It's an old love letter. Ancient. As I said, this stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. Never thought I'd say anything of the sort to Eredin. En verilith serenad, ede eich blame, idemae. Elven bauble worked. They approach.
Aizio. Galevoane. Still. It's a trap. We must flee now. Not this time. No, Cyril. You are not ready. You do not control your powers. I'll manage. Silly. Get out of my way. Silly. The ice. It's a spell. You must find the mage who cast it. Destroy his staff. I'll not stop with his staff. Almost, Sirach. Almost. Scathiard. Let's end this. Not good. 
good. Oh, you fought good. Good violent.
chance! You're... Have you seen Siri? She was with your help! Push him in the sea! Any last words? Shut your trap! Fight! You had your chance. I was hoping you'd come. Because? I've something to tell you. But I'll do so afterwards. As you expire. Come <laughs> on. 
You like that silver, Bill? said you had something to tell me. Avalak has tricked us both. He set us against each other, and he's made off with Cyrilla. I don't believe you.
Where's Siri? What? I thought you knew. All I know is Avalok might have betrayed us. What the? That a storm? Geralt, look! Oh my heartfelt regard. 
gods. Geralt, so unfortunate. I had hoped you wouldn't have to witness this. Where's Siri? Nearby. Listen. Shut up. I've heard enough of your bull. Draw your weapon. Let's get this over with. Helping Cyrilla. I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalok speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower because I aim to enter it. Why the hell would you do this? The Wild Hunt's been defeated. The White Frost has not. The prophecies are true. I have seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. about the White Frost. Let's just leave. Go. No, Geralt. I've seen what is to come. I know destruction approaches. The worlds will freeze, one after the other, and all life will be eradicated. Only I can prevent this from happening. There's gotta be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. Don't do this to me. Please, not now. Oh, Geralt, believe me. The tavern, old wine, our boots drying by the fire, I'd like nothing better. Try for you, Yen, Triss, for everyone. Keep your fingers crossed.
The gentleman will follow. Afraid to leave their homes. Captain! Report! Fort Kite Squadron. The Funsberg Division as a whole. Deserters. Does General Voorhis know? He's at a briefing. They're not letting anyone in. Nonsense. Get in there and report to him at once. Shaganatuvin. The Redanians will be here shortly. If Ain Kersher is Dithwin Adden in Khan at Morvold. Speak. Siri is dead. How did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Someone's waiting for me. Triss Marigold. Fear not. I do not intend to have her pursued. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? She regretted not getting a chance to say goodbye. Did she tell you this? Really? Didn't have to. She wanted to make peace. I know that. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. Need a hand with your wagon? Uh, no. It's not exactly ours. More a captured vehicle. Booty, you might say. Folk must have abandoned it in their rush. To where, I don't know. Be a shame for the Reds to claim it. Loot it. Change is coming. Grown accustomed, we have. With the Black Ones gone, witch hunters will move in. Yet life will roll on. We've to seize the day. True that. So, let's get to work before night creeps up on us. Time I was on my way. Good luck to you. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nilf Guardians. You take care now.
Master Ort. <sighs> Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. Thirty-eight and a half inch blade. Weight, just under forty ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm-hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a striggers prowl in the Maribor forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it's worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Ooh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. Let's try it out then. Radovid had many faults. He was cruel, impetuous, and pathologically ambitious. But he was a tactical genius. That's undeniable. Commanding forces far outnumbered by his foes, he handily defeated the invader from the south. The Redanian Eagle spread its wings, taking all the north, including Novigrad and Neuf. With victory in the war against Nilfgaard secured, Radovid proceeded to complete his witch hunt. As they had in Novigrad, pyres burned in Temeria and Edirne, lands now liberated by the Redanian monarch. In the drive for moral renewal, simple herbalists, pellers, healers, and non-humans, all supposed heretics, were murdered in droves. For many, 
Freedom beneath Radovid's scepter proved more tragic than servitude to another. As long as his armies went from one victory to the next, Emir's subjects remained boundlessly obedient. When a string of humiliating defeats proved Var Emri's fallible, the opposition, thus far secret, attacked. The subjects of the Emperor who had danced on the graves of his foes laid him to rest in a tomb of his own. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellige bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovil. And what of Geralt, you might ask? Well, he continued on as before, giving hand to mouth, job to job, on the road, ever coinless. We would meet at times over a glass of strong drink to talk about the old days and speculate what could have, would have, might have been. Wow, what a series. Yeah, so I didn't want to kill Radovid, but the thing is, it's such a complicated thing, like the consequences, as if you don't kill him, if you do kill him, you actually stop the persecution of, like, herbalists and doctors and stuff. So it's like... It's just like the greater good scenario. Does a king topple to save thousands, literally thousands, tens of thousands of people? I don't know. You just don't know about the consequences. So I, I always go to not kill Radovid, which is... But I know a lot of people do get rid of him because of the, um, the fallout. Uh, I do kind of feel bad for the Emperor, Emir Venry, getting taken out like typical Novigrad. Emperors, <laughs> they get toppled quite a bit, not being able to see his daughter, but he did have disgusting and bad plans for her. I really like the Skelly ending, making her the queen. And also, I like the ending where Ciri um, becomes a witcher in her own right. I believe there's an ending where you can actually get her killed, or Geralt dies, I believe. I, I don't think I've ever done that. I think my original playthrough, and I played, she became a witcher, which I like. I kind of like the idea of those two backpacking in the woods, hanging out, being witches. But um, a lot of people actually go down the Empress route, which is super interesting because... Making Siri the Empress is actually probably a really good idea for the continent. Although she would probably hate her life. She would stabilize the fanatical religious elements, I, I guess, in Novigrad. And, and them conquering and expanding and, and making people's lives miserable on the continent. So actually making her a, a kind and just Empress... Is probably for the greater good. This is why I love The Witcher, man. There's so many, like, different um, endings and scenarios and moral dilemmas. It's my favorite game of all time. Like, it just, it just can't compete to anything else. The music, the gameplay, the, the Witcher, I'm just such a big fan of it. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Witcher 3 playthrough. Henry Cavill is... I actually really enjoyed it. I hope you guys as well. You guys didn't have to download the mods. Um, and install it, which was a bit of a pain, actually, on my end, to be honest. Uh, modding Witch Witcher 3 is a little bit complicated, especially with, like, the script loaders and stuff. Um, but overall, I've had an absolute blast. Let me know if you'd like to see a Blood and Wine playthrough. I am open to so I've never actually played the DLCs, but I've heard they're just as good. Actually, if not better. I I've heard some people make the argument that they actually prefer the DLCs over the Wild Hunt and the Big Bad in that. So, let me know if that's something you would like to see. Anyway. Take care. I finished the series. Yay. <laughs> People have a go at me for not finishing stuff. But um, I've wrapped up a lot of series recently that I've, I've spent like two months away from and then I didn't come back to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Anyway, guys, take care. I'm going to be doing something as always on the channel. So stay tuned for more videos, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.
Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. I also want to say thank you to this month's patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tao, Lion B, Kyle P, Tom C and White P. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>